Hi team, welcome back to my channel. So this weekend classes we're focusing on front body opening and specifically opening up the hip flexors. So the hip flexors are our deepest muscles in the body and often when they're constricted or tight, they have a hindrance and can create low back pain and cause tension in the low spine. So today we're gonna to be focusing on opening up the front body specifically and these hip flexor muscles that live right here so that we can take pressure off the low back and hopefully open up your back bend a little bit. So let's go ahead and start in child pose. We'll take the knees nice and wide, big toes together and your arms out in front. And just plug your third eye into the mat. Let your belly melt to the space between your legs. And start to activate your breath. Plugging into the practice. Settling into the breath. Deepening your inhales and exhales and lubricating your joints and muscles. And we'll start nice and slow, kind of undulating the spine, getting you ready for back bend later in your practice. Let's take three more nice and easy. Now, as you inhale, start to peel your head away from the mat. Suction cup your hands into the floor and pull yourself forward into upward facing dog. Your knees draw slightly in, tops of your feet relax, and your head falls back. Then gently exhale, brush your elbows on your ribs as you lower down to a cobra. And we'll just cycle through this. So we'll inhale, push to straight arms. Exhale, take it back to your child's pose. Inhale, we pull to upward facing. Exhale, cobra. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, child's pose. Good, let's do three more. I'll just cue the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, pull forward to your upward facing dog. And from here, let's turn your toes under and swing your hips up into your first high plank. Push through your hands and round your upper back, protracting through your shoulders. From here, we'll lift your left, right leg into the air behind you, inhale. Exhale, shoot that right leg nice and high into three-legged dog. Be sure that when you bend your right knee and open your hip that you don't collapse into your left shoulder. Keep your chest nice and square to the floor and just start to work your knee up towards the sky, stretching out through your left hamstring and the right top of the leg. Let your head hang. Soften your left heel to the mat. Deep breath. On your inhale, gently draw your right knee in towards your belly and set your foot down to the space between your hands. Your back knee drops to the floor and your back toes relax. Inhale, rise up into a crescent moon on Jayanasana. So in all of these crescent lunges, I want you to think about the back thigh being on the floor, not the knee, so that you can really open up through the top of your hip flexor. Keep melting into your front leg. And then gently exhale, drop your right hand off to the outside of your right thigh. Maybe the hand can come to the floor or you can just let it hang. Reach your left arm over your head and gaze to your left hand. Good, now inhale, reach it all back up through the midline. 
Exhale, take your hands to the mat and frame your foot. Turn your back toes under. Inhale, lift your back knee and step to high plank. Good. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, swing your hips back into downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward to high plank. And exhale, lift your left leg up. Inhale, left leg high into three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your left knee, open your hip, and try to avoid collapsing into your right shoulder. Your head will hang. Your right heel softens down to the mat, getting into that back hamstring. Let's inhale, draw your left knee in towards your belly. Set your foot down to the space between your hands. Drop your back knee and relax your back toes. Reach your arms up over your head into your crescent lunge, nice and high. Melt into your left knee, softening the top of your right leg to the floor. As you exhale, your left hand gently softens down to the outside of your left thigh and your right arm over your head. Move into a little lateral side body stretch. Left hand can hover if touching the floor is too much. Good. Let's inhale. Bring everything back up through the midline. And exhale. Lower your hands to frame your foot. Inhale, turn your back toes under, lift your back knee and glide your left foot to high plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, tops of your feet, upward facing dog. Exhale, over your toes, downward facing dog. Great job, deep breath. For three, draw your belly inside. Two, We'll get into a breath to movement flow here in just a moment. And one, inhale, travel forward, walk step or jump feet to hands. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, sweep your arms over your head, press your palms, lift your gaze. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left foot to the back. Inhale, right leg to three-legged dog. Exhale, shift forward to single leg chaturanga. Inhale, bow your leg, push to straight arms, upward facing dog. Exhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward to the space between your hands, left foot to follow flat back. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, step your right foot back. Left leg drags to three-legged dog. Exhale, single leg chaturanga. Inhale, bow your leg, upward facing. Exhale, three-legged dog, downward facing. Inhale, step your left foot forward, right foot to follow, flat back. Exhale, gently bow over your legs. Inhale, come all the way up, press your palms, lift your gaze. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat, let's go through it again. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step your left foot back. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, single leg chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing bow. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, right foot steps forward. Left foot to follow, flat back. Exhale, bow. Inhale, just into your flat back. Exhale, your right foot steps to the back. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, single leg chaturanga. 
Inhale, boat upward facing. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward, right foot to follow. Exhale, bow. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, arms sweep over your head. One more round. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, left foot steps to the back. Inhale, right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, single leg, chaturanga. Inhale, boat upward facing. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, right foot steps to the top. Left foot to follow, flat back. Exhale, back. Inhale, back to straight arms, flat back. Exhale, right foot steps behind you. Inhale, left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, single leg, chaturanga. Inhale, boat upward facing. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Right foot to follow. Exhale, bow. This time, inhale, bend your knees, sit into a chair, arms sweep up. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step both feet back to high plank and lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Right foot steps forward to the space between your hands. Keep your back heel lifted. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, take a little bend to your left leg. And inhale, pull your left knee into your belly, rise to half mountain. Exhale, warrior three, kick your left foot back behind you and offer your heart over your thigh. Put your face into the plant. <laughs> inhale, bend your front knee, drop your back foot, reach your arms up over your head and your back in crescent lunge. Exhale, left arm cuts forward, right arm back, you revolve your crescent. Inhale, reverse your crescent, so you're going to exalt. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the floor and take single leg chaturanga, right leg floats as you lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Reach your arms up over your head, crescent lunge. Exhale, bend your back knee. Inhale, take it to half mountain, right knee in towards your belly. Exhale, warrior three, kick your right leg behind you, hands reach back, soft tuck of your chin. Inhale, back to crescent lunge, left knee bends, arms sweep up. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, reverse, left hand to the back leg, right arm over your head. Exhale, cargo your hands to the floor. Step back, high plank. Lower single leg, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Let's hold and breathe. Deep breath. For three. Lift your kneecaps to firm your thighs. Two, draw your belly inside. And one, let's inhale, travel forward, walk step or jump feet to hands. Exhale, bow. Inhale, bend your knees, sit to chair, arms sweep up. Again, exhale, fold, hands to the mat. Let's do one more round. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, walk step or jump back, high plank to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right side crescent lunge. Step right foot to right thumb. 
Inhale, sweep your arms up over your head. Exhale, bend through your back knee. Inhale, rise up to half mountain. Exhale, kick back into warrior three. <laughs> Inhale, rise back up to crescent lunge. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, reverse, take exalted. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the floor, single leg chaturanga. Inhale, boat upward facing. Exhale, drop your foot downward facing. Inhale, left side crescent lunge. Rise up, arms over your head. Exhale, bend through your back knee. Inhale, right knee into your belly. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, back to crescent lunge. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, exalt. Exhale, vinyasa. Left leg floats as you lower. Inhale, upward facing bow. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold and breathe. For three. Getting the body nice and warm. Two. And one. Let's inhale, travel forward, feet to hands. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, sit to Ukatasana chair. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. We're adding on. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, walk, step, or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. All right, let's inhale, lift your right leg up into the air without hiking your hips, so keep it nice and square to the floor. Now, flex your right foot, and I want you to pull your right hip into the socket, so you're kind of hiking your hip up, so that when you exhale, you're hovering your right foot two inches above the mat, so it hovers, it doesn't touch the floor. You inhale, rise onto the ball of your left foot, and gently set your right foot down about two inches in front of your left big toe. Okay? From here, left leg will lift up into the air behind you, so you're in a really short down dog. Okay? Now, this is going to get a little weird, so just turn up your listening ears. As you exhale, pull your left knee in towards your belly. You'll have to bend your right leg, so you're in this like weird squat. Left foot goes under the body to the top right corner of the mat. Right knee and right toes open to face the long edge, and you lift into a bent leg, fallen triangle, right arm overhead. I know I'm not facing you, so just do your best to imagine, and we'll catch it on the other side. Deep breath. Last two. And one, gently lower your hips all the way down to the floor. So you're in almost like a sitting skandasana, right? We'll let your right knee soften to the mat. And I want you to swing this whole situation forward. So the knee and the foot faces the top edge of your mat here. Okay, so this is Trianka Mukha. If you need to place a block under your left hip to give you more support here, totally fine. Don't push through knee pain in a posture such as this. If it's available, you'll exhale, fold forward, Hands wrap to your left foot and your head drops down. If this is not available, you can just take the hands to the outsides of the leg, so you're kind of framing the leg with both hands, or left hand off to the side like a little kickstand, so you can push weight into your right shin. Okay, deep breath. Draw your belly inside, making space for your fold. Last two. And one, let's inhale, rise all the way back up. And as you exhale, take your hands behind you. So you might stay like this, especially if you're on a block. 
However, if you feel good and your front body is pretty open naturally, go ahead and lower down to your forearms. Now, if you're still like, hey, easy peasy, I'm feeling good, maybe you can lay all the way down on your back. Now, something to be considerate of when you get into this position, I want your full right shin on the floor. So if your knee's lifting up, or if your spine is super archy and your hips are all wonky, this is not gonna be a position that supports the integrity of the pose. So maybe you come back up to your forearms and just stay here while your hip flexors open. Okay, you're only competing with yourself and you're the only one that has to take your body home. So please don't push, especially in things like the knees. Okay, we're gonna hold for three. Two. And one. Now wherever you are, you rise back up onto your shin. Hands come in line with your knees. We'll lift your hips so you're just on that right leg. Now for me, I always have to slide my left foot more forward so that I can bow over my left shin. In this situation, I'm gonna walk a little further back just because my plant is like all up in my face at the moment. And we're just gonna gently bow over your left leg. So do whatever you need to do to feel stable and supported here. I like to flex my left toes back towards me. This shortens the hamstring connection and makes it a little bit more intense, but you might prefer pointed toes. Now, something I feel I see a lot of in my classes is people will go into a position such as this or any forward fold with a rounded spine. This keeps the fulcrum point of your fold in the torso. Instead, we want you to lift your heart, roll your shoulders back, and let that fulcrum point of your fold come from the crease of your hip. So the integrity of the stretch is in the hamstring, not the back. For three. Doesn't matter how far you go, as long as you feel a good stretch. Two. And one. Let's push back up to straight arms. Go ahead and bend into your left knee coming into a runner's lunge. Right palm flattens to the floor. Left arm goes up, gaze towards your left fingers. Now, you might stay like this, or if you're feeling pretty good, go ahead and bend your back leg, reach your left hand to the top of your right foot, and start to sun your lizard. So this is a good place to stay, or maybe you wanna lower down to your right forearm and take your left toes with your right hand. You can also come onto the pinky toe edge of your left foot and roll your body inside out. Something to be considerate of. You wanna be on the top of your right thigh, not the top of the knee. So maybe you wanna double over your mat and start to melt your hips down towards the floor. Deep breath. These are such good stretches to mitigate low back pain. So please re-watch this video if at all, you're experiencing any low spine discomfort and just pull a couple of these stretches. Do maybe five minutes of it. Last two. And one. So relax your back leg with control. Hug your left knee in. Flatten your hands to the floor. You're back in runner's lunge. Turn your back toes under. Lift your knee. Step back to high plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Great work. Let's inhale, lift your left leg up into the air. Okay, we want to flex your left foot and hike the hip up into the socket. Gently lower your left foot down to a hover. Remember, it hovers just two inches above the mat. We rise under the ball of your right foot and set your left foot down about two inches in front of your right big toe. Right leg lifts into the air behind you for a short and squatty down dog. Now, exhale, right knee pulls in towards your nose and your left knee has to bend. Right foot shoots under the body towards the top left corner of the mat and your left knee and left toes open and you push into a little bent leg fallen triangle. Gaze towards your left fingers. Deep, easy breath. Three, two, 
and one. Gently lower your hips down to the floor. So you're in a seated skandasana. Left knee will collapse to the mat. And you swing your right leg forward until you face the top. Okay, from here, use a block if you need to under your right hip. Otherwise, exhale, fold over your right leg and go into the deepest version that your body allows you to. I know it's tempting to pick at your unmanicured toes, but try to keep your focus on your breath. For three. Two. And one, we inhale, rise back up. As you exhale, walk your hands back behind you, and then we lower down to whatever intensity your body is ready for. So you might start on the forearms, and then notice my knee lifted almost immediately off the floor, the shin too. So maybe this is where I stay today, even though on a regular day, I could lay all the way flat, right? This is the ego. Do what you can, not what you want your body to do. Meet yourself where you are. Hold and breathe. Three. Two. And one. We'll inhale, start to push yourself back up. So again, your hands frame your knees. You lift your hips, glide your right foot more forward, maybe walk your left leg back if you need to, and set yourself up for half split. We gently bow over your right leg. Think about pulling your right hip back and your left hip down and forward for three. Two, rev the engine of your breath. And one, we inhale, push to straight arms. Exhale, bend into your right knee. Flatten your left palm to the floor and reach your right arm up into the air. So again, you can stay like this or bend your back leg, take the top of your foot with your hand. Maybe come onto the pinky toe edge of your right foot and if it's available, maybe the left forearm can come down and you can roll your body inside out. For me, this side is a lot tighter. Deep breath. Three. Two. And one. So gently relax your back leg with control. Bring yourself back up to runner's lunge, hug your knee in. Turn your back toes under, lift your knee, and step back to high plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. As you inhale, shift forward to high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly. Relax your feet. Inhale, lift to a little cobra. Reach your hands back behind you and interlace your fingers. If an interlaced hands is not available, you can just take cactus arms or just wing them back behind you like little airplanes, okay? If you've got your interlaced hands, run your thumbs down your glutes, lift your chest. Bring your big toes together and float your thighs. Deep breath. Three. Two. And one. Relax. Lower chin down, thighs down. Release your hands so they line up under your shoulders. On your inhale, your head and chest lift away from the floor. And we'll take your right forearm parallel to the top edge of the mat. Okay, so when you do this, be sure that your forearm is close enough to your body that you can prop yourself up so the elbow stacks under the shoulder. Okay? Now, left leg will bend. Left hand reaches back to the inside of your left foot. You're going to gently just pull your heel down towards your glute. 
And if it's available, we're gently rotating your fingers to face the same direction as your toes and stacking your elbow over your wrist, okay? From there, square your chest forward and use this leverage to pull your heel down. Don't force it. Deep breath. Three. Two. And one. We'll relax your back leg. Let your left hand come down and tent your fingers. Use your left hand to push onto your right hip and flex your feet. Good, left hand to your waist. On an inhale, lift your hips up into a forearm side plank. Whatever you wanna do with your left arm is fine. Deep breath. Try not to collapse. Three. Two. And one. Layer your left forearm in front of your right. Pass through the center. Take it to the other side. Right hand finds right hip. Lift for three. Two. And one. Right forearm layers in front of your left. You pass through the center. Good. Keep your arms like this. Doing a couple rounds of core work here. As you exhale, hover your hips a few inches above the mat. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift. Eight more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Five more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Three more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All the way down to your belly. Whew. That's a lot, right? Relax your feet. Good, and let's just take a moment here to stretch out your belly. <sighs> nice and easy. All right, your left forearm stays parallel to the top edge of the mat. Right knee will bend. Right hand reaches back to the inside of your right foot, and you start to pull your heel down towards your glute. Remember, if your shoulder feels okay, Fingertips face the same direction as your toes. Gaze forward, chest and shoulders square to the top of the mat. Three. Two. And one. Good. Relax your back leg. Lower your fore or your hands rather to the mat under your shoulders. Take an inhale, little lift to cobra. Exhale, bend your legs behind you. Maybe the knees go a little wider. I want you to try to keep, to the best of your ability, your big toes and your heels touching. Okay, it's gonna probably be hard to hold them both together the whole time. So from here, maybe you wanna bring your arms up into a cactus. This is fine, this is totally great. If it's available, reach your hands back, take the tops of your feet or ankles. Again, try to keep your big toes touching. When you inhale, float your thighs. Kick your legs into your hands and lift your gaze. For three. Two. And one. Your thighs gently drop to the floor. Hands lower and legs release. Inhale, push to upward facing dog, big stretch. Let's just exhale, gaze over your right shoulder, let your left hip hover. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, back to center. 
Exhale, turn your toes under and swing your hips back into downward facing dog. Such good work. Big deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, lift your right leg up into the air. Exhale, bend your knee just like we did earlier in our practice. And just be sure you're not collapsing into your left shoulder, right? If you feel ready and if it's available, come onto the ball of your left foot, pivot and flip to wild thing. Left leg stays straight, right leg stays bent. For three, strong, low back, firm thighs, open hip flexors. Two. And one, cartwheel your right hand back to the mat, right leg high for three-legged dog. Now exhale, step your right foot forward to the space between your hands for crescent lunge and reach your arms up over your head. Exhale, lower your left knee down with control. Inhale, bend your left knee behind you, reach your left hand back, take the top of your foot, Maybe your right hand can go back as well. Once you have your bind, I want you to melt into your front knee so that the top of your thigh comes to the floor, not the top of the kneecap. Kick your foot into your hand, arch through your spine, and look up. Deep breath. Breath is the only constant. Every breath is a prayer, an offering to the self. Last two. Last one. Good. So I like to draw the heel in just a touch, then relax the back leg with control. Start to straighten out your front knee. We'll take half split again. Or if you're working on full Hanumanasana, you can slide out and take full split. So whatever's available to you, maybe full split's not there, but you wanna play with it, just slide out to whatever your capacity is and then hold yourself up with tented fingers. Another great option is to take a block under your front thigh. That will really help just kind of allow you the energy to soften into it more and let gravity be more at play without you having to work so hard in the hands. Okay, so whatever you're doing, hold and breathe for three. Two. And one, so we inhale, rise up and drag your right foot more in like it was for half split, okay? Then from here, I want you to sit back onto your left shin for tree and gamuka. We already did this earlier. We're not gonna stay here though. I want you to take a hold of your left ankle and open it out to the side until your left knee faces the long edge of your mat. Okay, now right hand, takes the top of your left thigh. Your right shoulder dips down to the inside of your right leg and your left arm reaches over your head. You might be able to take your toes, but it's really not vital. Finding the toes is just a byproduct of this deep rotation through your um, torso and your thoracic spine. So instead of taking the toes, if it's not available, roll your left shoulder and rib cage open towards the sky. Deep breath. This is one of my favorite stretches. I could just lay here forever. Last two. And one. We inhale, rise back up. Let your left hand just kind of waterfall behind you. So for me, I always have to pull my right foot in about a couple inches until the knee bends to get into this next posture. So we're gonna plant your left hand, lift onto your left shin and point your right toes, reach your right arm over your head and push your hips forward towards the long edge of your mat. Deep breath. Three. Gaze to the right hand. Two. And 
one. Your right hand circles down to the floor in line with your left. Start to pivot your left knee to face the back and we gently slide into pigeon. Right leg walks you into the deepest expression that your body's ready for. The forearms can come down, elbows can come down. Deep, easy breath. Find the surrender, the submission. For three. Two. And one. Let's inhale, push back up to flat palms. Turn your back toes under and lift your back knee. Step back into high plank. And exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up into the air behind you. Exhale, bend your knee. Come onto the ball of your right foot. And if you feel ready, flip your dog to wild thing. Right leg straight, left leg bent. You roll open into a half back bend. Strong thighs, soft glutes. Two. And one, let's spin back into three-legged dog, left leg high in the air. Exhale, set your left knee, or your left foot down rather, and inhale, rise up to reach your arms over your head. We'll exhale, lower your right knee to the floor. Inhale, bend your back leg and take the top of your foot with one or both hands. If nothing is available, reach your hands back or you can wrap a strap or towel around your ankle. Sink into your front knee. Kick your foot into your hand. Lift your chest. Three. Two. And one. Pull your heel in to relax your hands to the floor. Straighten out your front leg and take half or full Hanumanasana. Whatever is available to you, go as far as you feel comfortable. Deep breath. Regardless of whether you're in half or full split, your left hip pulls back, right hip down and forward. For three. Two. And one. Hands back to the mat. Glide your left heel back enough that we can ultimately lower down onto that right shin like we did for Triangle Mukha earlier in our practice. Okay, right hand finds right ankle. We open your right knee to face the long edge of your mat. Left hand finds the top of your right thigh. You lower your left shoulder down and reach your right arm over your head, toes or no toes, doesn't matter. Roll your armpit and your rib cage towards the sky and breathe. Three. Two. One. Inhale, rise back up. Okay, so right hand cartwheels behind you with a flat palm. For me, I always have to pull my left foot a little more in with a bent knee so that I can rise up onto my right shin, straighten your left leg, and roll your rib cage open towards the long edge for party bra or for gatekeeper rather.
One more. Exhale, circle your left hand down towards the mat. Pivot your right knee to face forward and walk your left leg back into pigeon. Take this as deep as you like, going into whatever intensity feels aligned for you today. And then maybe plug your third eye into the mat and acquiesce into the pose. For three. Two. And one. Let's start to inhale, push yourself back up to flat palms. Turn your back toes under and lift your back knee. Step back into high plank and lower down chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come all the way through to lay on your back. Bend your knees and flatten the soles of your feet to the floor. Good. Now, we have a couple options. I'm going to give you, we'll do two back bends and we can start with bridge. Let's everybody start with bridge regardless of what your back bending program looks like. So hands to the mat in line with your glutes. Start by drawing your tailbone under and tilting it towards your belly button. This will flatten your low back to the floor and really activate Uddiyana Bandha. Okay? So then from here, we lift your hips, push into your feet. If this feels good, interlace your fingers under your back with straight arms and wiggle your shoulders closer together. Okay. Now lift hips higher by pushing into your feet and squeezing your thighs. Three, two, and one. Relax your hands, lower your hips. So you can take bridge again, or if you're ready for full wheel, let's go ahead and take it. So fingertips in line with your ears. Be sure that you've got your arms wide enough. And how we're gonna build this is gonna be a little different. So just listen up, even if you feel comfortable in back bend. I want you to start by lifting your hips, just like we do for bridge. From there, push into your arms, come just to the crown of your head. Okay, elbows in, elbows in. Lift to straight arms. Once you're here, push through your legs. Deep breath. If this is easy, Walk your hands in closer to your feet. Three. Two. Soft glutes. And one. Bring yourself down nice and slow with control. And hug your knees in towards your belly. Gently massaging your spine. Releasing all of that intense bridge and wheel practice. <sighs> okay, let's rock all the way up to a seated position and extend your legs out in front of you, folding forward over your thighs and jump roping your spine from one intense stretch to the other. So don't worry about how far you fold here. I know everybody wants to like just kind of whip their body in and out, but really just take it nice and easy. It's not about how far you can fold. We're trying to restore and recover. For three. Two. And one. Let's go ahead and inhale, rise up. Perfect. Exhale, take your hands behind you, fingertips face towards your glutes. Okay? Point your toes. And inhale, lift your hips up into Parvottanasana. Drop your head back behind you. Deep breath. If this is too much, take reverse table instead with bent knees for three. Two. 
And one, go ahead and lower your hips down to the floor and gently tuck your chin. Pull your right knee into your belly. Hook your right foot to the inside of your left leg and roll your right knee towards the left side of your mat into a twist. Gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, extend your leg. Inhale, left knee pulls in. Exhale, take it across your right leg and gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, extend your leg. Good, let's take one final vinyasa just to kind of cleanse the body palate. So pull your knees in towards your belly, plant your hands out in front of you, walk or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, come all the way through to seated. And exhale, lie down. Good. Let's let your hands lay open next to your sides. Your legs extend nice and long. Take a full deep inhale through your nose. And exhale out your mouth. Your tongue floats. Your teeth separate. Your jaw comes unhinged and your body melts. Stay here for as long as you like, pausing or ending the video. Otherwise, go ahead and start to add life back into your fingers and toes. Take a moment to swallow, lubricate your throat. Reach your arms up over your head, take a big body on, morning stretch. Pull your knees in towards your belly and gently roll to one side, creating a little pillow with your arm. Just allowing yourself an opportunity here to drink in the benefits of your practice, to allow them to disseminate into each little nook and cranny of the body. We'll inhale, push yourself up into a comfortable seat. Bring your hands together at heart center. And let's take three deep breaths to unify our energy and close down our practice. Deep inhale through your nose for mind. Exhale, mouth. Inhale, body. Inhale, spirit. The light in me honors and shines the light in all of you. Namaste.